Hi. So, I think one of the first uh, things we should focus on is the outrage of who is actually stealing money from you. And there are many surprising uh, entities that are stealing money from you. Today we're going to focus on just one, and that is the management of the um, major corporations here in the U.S. I don't know if you're aware of it, but um, some time ago, Congress tried to restrict how much money these managers could suck out of the corporations that they were ostensibly managing for us, the shareholders. Um, and they passed a law, I forget when it was, I think in the 90s, that limited compensation for these executives to a million dollars. But they did allow uh, performance-based pay, and therein lies the problem. It was deemed to be uh, a good idea that uh, executives would be paid based on how well the stock price did. And this makes a lot of sense, because uh, the interests of the management should be aligned with the interest of, interests of shareholders. And after all, that is the objective. If the shareholders make a lot of money, then who can begrudge management making money? However, just like every system, it was gamed. And uh, the way it is gamed is uh, really quite simple. Imagine if you have a corporation that makes $1 million, earns $1 million, has one, let's say it has $2 million of revenue, earns $1 million, and there are 1 million shares. Every share earns $1. The earnings per share is $1. Management says, if the price of the stock goes up, we should uh, profit from that because this is due to our superior management skills, and the shareholders agree. A year later, the corporation has bought back half of its stock. So now the corporation, assuming it's completely unchanged, still has $2 million of revenue, still earns $1 million, but now there's only 500,000 shares instead of a million shares, and the earnings per share have gone from $1 per share to $2 per share, even though the corporation is worth exactly what it was before. It's still only making a million dollars. However, in the stock market, the fact that earnings have doubled will generate a huge uh, price earnings multiple for the stock. Price earnings multiple being how much is being paid for every dollar of earnings. And if you have a stock where the earnings have doubled in a year, then that justifies a very uh, optimistic outlook for the future, and the stock price will probably more than double. This is essentially management stealing shareholders' equity. The company is exactly as valuable as it was before. There are half as many shares earning twice as much. The uh, company is still only earning a million dollars. However, if you look at this over the entire industrial and financial and uh, other lands uh, business landscapes in this country, you can see that huge amounts of equity have been sucked out by management because they're getting paid based on the price of the stock. Not the price of the stock times the number of shares, but just the price of the stock. And as a result of this, you have the, the senior management of companies like Jamie Dimon, for example, at JP Morgan, Senior managers have become billionaires, not millionaires, billionaires, a thousand million dollars. This is all shareholder money that management has essentially paid themselves. The uh, billionaires, senior managers, pay their deputies such that they become hundred millionaires and their deputies become tens of millionaires and so on down the line. This is all shareholder money that has been sucked out of the corporations by management. Shareholders are so uh, uninvolved these days. Everybody's a passive investor. They give their money to Fidelity. They never get the shares in share form, and so Fidelity votes their shares. There's nothing stopping management. These guys have become obscenely rich, and it's our money that they've stolen. Today's outrage.